Hello. So instead of giving you all the answers this month, I thought I would ask some questions. There's so many things in my life that I don't have answers for. And I thought, I wonder if you feel the same. Of course, just asking the questions is a good way to get answers sometimes because sometimes they come instantaneously. Sometimes it takes a little while for the answers to find their way to you. Sometimes it, they bubble up slowly through the layers of your unconscious or subconscious. Sometimes you can read a book or in the musings of a friend, the answers will sort of pop out at you. And all other times, you know, um, it's like some power beyond you has heard the question and sent the answer to you in its own meandering way by sending a new person into your life or some strange coincidence. And sometimes just asking the question is a good way to get yourself space. The space to acknowledge that you don't know yet and that's okay. The space to be curious. This allows for expansion instead of dead ends. And the space for the answers to come in their own time, allowing your subconscious mind to mull things over. So here are my questions. Let's start with, where should I focus my time? Uh, it's a constant question with me. <laughs> I need to produce art to show and sell as well as the simple need of my soul to create. But often that will wrench me away from practical matters such as marketing, taking care of other life businesses, and even chalk, housework, or gardening, which I really like. But the converse will happen and I find myself taking care of practical matters and business and other things takes me away from my art for far too long. How far do I take a piece of artwork? Here's an example. I really like the way this piece looked at this stage, but it still felt unfinished. So I pushed it another couple levels and I need to go a little farther to uh, finish with the composition and so on. Um, but would it have been okay to just leave it at the first stage where it was rough and even more abstract? How can I make sure my coaching clients get the best value for their money? This one's a little bit hard because in the end, no matter how much I prepare or review my tools or take extra trainings, the bulk of the work actually has to come from the client. They have to have that motivation to succeed. And we can go over um, all kinds of tools and um, strategies, but if they don't want to make it work or they're telling themselves their own story, it ain't going to work. What is affecting the trees in my yard? So I've had two trees fail in the last couple years and now my magnolia is looking like this. That's, um, yeah, I don't know. It should be, the, the, um, it flowered. There was lots of flowers, but they seem small. But it should have leafed out by now and it's, the leaves are just looking sad. There we go. Yeah, sad. And then of course my current, um, my red flower and current in the back died. That was Where should I focus my art marketing? It seems like there's so many options nowadays and really so little time. I mean, I could do e Facebook, Instagram. I, I do a little bit of that. Um, I'm not consistent. I. Yeah, I go to art events, I do markets, I enter fine art shows, and sometimes more remotely, sometimes you can do uh, locally, now you can just do online, um, probably almost anywhere in the world. Uh, I can create my own art events, I can have open studios in my backyard, which I do want to do actually soon. Well, probably not this year because I'm so busy already. And then um, I can teach. I can coach and that will get people um, more familiar with my art. Uh, I can make 
YouTube videos. <laughs> I'm, but I'm starting to think it's more a matter of picking what you feel comfortable with and sticking with it and finding ways to tweak what you've got, what you, what you do best, what you're comfortable with and work on uh, finding ways uh, that you can grow within those uh, types of marketing strategies. Another possible answer for that is actually to give back, give to the community around you, collaborate with artists, art, artists, oh my gosh, um, give your advice, give time, mentorship, volunteer in the community, create relationships. And I think the more relationships you have, the more your name will get out there, you're more likely you are to find somebody that will advocate for you, somebody that, yeah, maybe a patron. Is this world on a steady decline now, or will we be able to turn the ship around? Pandemics, the rise of authoritarianism and fascist thinking, threatening democracy, climate change, there's still climate deniers out there, emboldened racism, unprovoked war and so on. So many things making me wonder if humanity will ever learn. Where do I put all these baby trees that I've been given or had started from cuttings? This, I believe, is a Pacific willow. I was a volunteer. You know, sometimes those volunteers are good because if they're native, they're gonna last better than other plants. Now, I have three baby fig trees somebody gave me. I'll put two in my yard and probably give one away. A curly willow that I took from a cutting from a neighbor's tree. Let's see, these are the yellow roses. I think they're climbing roses from Alberta. Um, they w did very well com com considering they were pretty much, they look like dead roots when I dug them up. I don't know if you can see that. You see that leaf? It's a ginkgo tree somebody gave me. My neighbor gave it to me. That one is very interesting. I think I found a place for it. And of course, there's a few other things. This is a tree peony, yellow apparently. Can't wait to see what that's gonna look like. And that is a native plant, a camas lily. Anyway. How do I get more people to sign up for my newsletter. And how do I get more YouTube followers? I guess this is probably a good time to ask you guys if you're enjoying this content to like and subscribe. And thank you in advance if you do. It really helps me out a lot. How can I continue to be an artist if I'm not making a living? This one's really been hard especially as times have um, been a little tight and I start to realize just exactly how much I'd have to charge for my art in order to make a living um, considering the volume of work I can make in a year. Should I even want to get paid for my work? Should I even want to make money on my art? There's this whole dichotomy about business and art. Um, as an artist, I'm constantly bombarded by marketers who want to teach me how to make a living marketing my artwork. Everyone has their formulas and everyone seems to want time and money that I don't have in order to learn their system. I always wonder if I'm missing out. And then the other day, in the interest of possibly learning something from another artist about how they market, because they always say, you know, ask other artists who you think are successful. Well, I asked him about how he goes about selling his work. Oh, he said, you never should want to sell your artwork. It's all about getting better at your art. You just have to really focus on getting better at it. And then I felt totally ashamed that yes, indeed, I do want to sell my work. <sighs> that put me in a depression for days. Honestly, 
and then it made me mad. I won't talk now about the answers that I have over this one because it's all about questions today. But actually, being mad at something is a good sign for me. What is this little flower called? Isn't that just gorgeous? So, I guess I'll have to just sit with these questions for now. I have answers for some, partial answers for others, and I guess I figure I'll learn the rest in time. I'd love to hear though what your questions have been lately, what quandaries have been floating around in your minds. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Have an amazing month of June. We'll talk to you soon. And in the meantime, take this joy. Love you all. Bye for now. So guess who found the lounger? Miss Boo. Is this your lounger now? Can, can I sit with you? No? You think you could move over for me? Can I sit down? There's a little bit of room, isn't there? Can I sit down? Oops, I can't see a thing anymore. What's going on? Are you there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's it going? How's it going, sweetie? Pretty warm out here today, hey? You're so pretty. Yeah, you are. Should I go get your water? <laughs> oh, you want a tummy rub? Okay, hold on. A bit. A bit of tummy rub. And I'll go get your water. Okay.